I have a stowaway in my tennis shoe. Come on. I see a foot. Come on. You're okay. <laughs> I thought I felt something on my big toe. Let's get you back out into your habitat. It's a mess out there. I need to go to the store though. You'll never guess what for. You feel up to going out today? Sure. <laughs> That's not what you said a minute ago. I'll take it though. I've got two stops to make today. First, Walmart. I just need one thing here. Fishing line. That should do it. How did all this other stuff get in here? Sneaky Walmart. Phase two of our journey, Joanne. It feels strange. I usually complain about going here. And I need a metal ring. Ten inches should work. So I think that should do it. Let's go back to the house. For Christmas, my little boy's aunt got him this really thoughtful gift. 30 plastic glow-in-the-dark stars, and he really likes them. In fact, every day he reminds me that we need to put these on his ceiling. But Jennifer just painted the inside of his room, and I'm sorry, sis, but we're not going to put foam bubblegum adhesive all over the freshly painted ceiling. What I'll do instead is go full tilt Pinterest and create a hanging shooting star glow in the dark visual pleasantry with the ingredients I've acquired. 30 stars calls for 30 strings. What's the circumference of a 10 inch ring? Haha, <laughs> about 31. So that means that I should have enough room here for 30 marks an inch apart. I'll use this 9 volt battery as my spacer. As soon as I get 30 somewhat evenly spaced dots on this side of the ring, you're actually witnessing my third attempt. I'll flip it over and also mark four spots around the circumference on the other side using my black sharpie and wooly tape measure. Your measuring is bad. Did you see this, Jennifer? Taking steps. What are those? A waste of time. Next, I will give each one of these black marks just a little kiss with the Dremel tool. Look at this garage. It's still a disaster from my door repair and I'm making arts and crafts. The ring is prepped. Now I need to drill a hole into every each one of these stars. Looks like 30 all right. Probably need a 20 amp circuit for this one. Only nine left, but it works. I got all the hills drilled, something like that. And now I'm going to start tying some string onto these. My general idea is to start with short pieces of fishing line and tie smaller stars onto those. And as I go around the circle, the length of string will increase along with the size of the star. So it looks like a shooting star kind of twirling to the ground. That's how it looks in my mind anyway. The reason I made those notches with the Dremel tool was so that when I attached the pieces of fishing line to the ring, they'd be positively located and wouldn't slide around. I'm using just a standard double knot to tie these pieces to the ring, but when I wasn't looking, Jennifer done went fancy on me and she is using a Palomar knot to attach the stars. All the stars are tied and tangled somewhat. I want to give each of these strings one final tug 
to make sure that they are tight and then I'll trim off the loose ends. What do you think? That looks pretty good. I think he's going to like it. Last thing we need to do is create a hanging mechanism. I was going to just use some of the fishing line, but I've got these pieces of scrap copper wire and I'll use those instead. I think it'll make the piece look a little more regal. First thing I want to do is twist together the four tops, then create a small loop out of that, then fan out and connect the individual wires to the ring right where those notches are that I cut in the beginning. There it is, finished with the handsome copper wire. In fact, take two, handsome copper wire. It's about, what time is it? 12 o'clock, <laughs> midnight, but I think he will really like this. I don't know what to do with the adhesive though. We don't really need this stuff. I guess I could double my freshness. Tastes like the Shenzhen province. So here's what it looks like in complete darkness and with a little black light enhancement. Overall, this was a fun project, and really, who's to say what's a waste of time and what's a bigger waste of time? May all of your stars shine bright. Thanks for watching.